Prince was the prince of Minneapolis music. But before Prince's hits in the 1980s, the unique blend of musical genres that was his signature sound had already become a staple in his hometown city. The Minneapolis sound combined elements of funk, rock, pop, punk, and British New Wave. The latest innovations in electronic instrumentation often replaced live horns or strings, was heavy with synthesizers and drum machines, and was performed by bands such as Music Love and Funk, The Lewis Connection, and 94 East, bands that created a platform for Prince's regional musical influences. These regional influences are a trait of the American musical story. In Philadelphia, Clara Ward and the Ward Singers transformed gospel music using alternate lead voices and a signature look incorporating stylish gowns, towering wigs, and flashy jewelry in place of traditional choir robes. Taking their music to venues outside of the church, the Ward Singers had more hits throughout the 1950s than any other gospel group before them. Atlanta-based hip-hop duo OutKast formed in 1991. Their debut album, Southern Playalistic Cadillac Music, includes narratives around Southern culture and identity that connect with themes and topics that were not prominently discussed in hip-hop at the time. The album won Best New Artist at the Source Awards with Andre 3000's now famous acceptance speech. It's like this the South got something to say, that's all I got to say. Future Outcast albums continue those Southern narratives, always with a layer of activism, calls for action and awareness of many issues present in Black communities across the country. The history of African American music in the United States is the history of music in the United States and is told in a myriad of ways through styles and artists from all regions. For more stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel.